KXLY 4 News Morning Sprint is brought to you by Park Gordon Law. All right, it's 6.52. Time now for your morning sprint on this Valentine's Day. Caroline Flynn is live at a local flower shop where they're gearing up for their busiest day of the year. And Mark Peterson says some snow and rain are on their way back today. But first, Snoqualmie Pass now open in both directions for the first time in days. The pass closed Monday night for heavy snow and avalanche danger. Eastbound lanes were opened up yesterday, but cars were only let through in groups. As of 4 o'clock this morning, westbound lanes are now open as well. Right now, tractor tires are advised and oversight vehicles are not yet being let through. Well, the problems to the west of Spokane start to clear up. The trouble is now on the mountain passes to the east. An avalanche fell near St. Regis Pass yesterday, completely blocking westbound lanes. Right now, I-90 is still closed to westbound traffic between the Idaho-Montana border and St. Regis. A bipartisan border security and spending bill should be on President Trump's desk by tonight. The House and Senate will vote on that bill today. It includes $1.37 billion for barriers and fencing at the U.S.-Mexico border far less than the $5.7 billion the president wanted. As of now, President Trump says he will sign the bill, which should avoid another government shutdown. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, boy, it's going to be a cold start to the day, but now this cloud cover and this rain, rain, snow mixed is coming into our neck of the woods for the afternoon. We want you to be prepared, and if you're traveling across I-90, you're going to find some winter conditions. So here is the 10-second takeaway. You do have a very cold start. Dress in layers, plus sun to snow. We're going to see variable weather today. Be prepared for it by wearing layers. All right, Sue, so you uh, are, have finally a break from the flood of customers that came in before 7 a.m. How did I do on my bouquet? You yeah, did a great job. You created a focal point, drew their eyes all around the bouquet so they see everything that's in it, put it together very nicely. Do you want me to moonlight here today? Do you need me for the day? Um, no, not today, but in the future. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Listen, if you want to pick up some flowers here, that's all you can do. Deliveries are a no-go. They are out of delivery slots for today, so you can come right into Peters and Sons, right on Sprague, and get your flowers and make your Valentine extra happy today. And if you want to celebrate Valentine's Day by giving back, just stop by Dutch Bros for your morning coffee today. One dollar of every drink bought at any of the Spokane area locations today will go to Second Harvest. The money will be used to help fight hunger in our community. Second Harvest helps provide free, nutritious food to thousands of people in 26 eastern Washington and north Idaho counties. The resource officer involved in the fight at Spokane's Ferris High School has submitted his resignation. Uh, Mr. Audi spent 18 years as a Spokane County Sheriff's Deputy, during which there were three excessive force lawsuits against him. One of those went to trial, where Audi was found not guilty. The other two were dismissed. Spokane Public Schools says they just recently learned of the lawsuits and that they did not come up in Audi's criminal background check. A school district spokesman says he will remain employed with the school until April 30th. The Spokane Valley Police Department needs your help to identifying this woman. She's accused of robbing the Home Depot on Sprague in Spokane Valley. When she was confronted by an employee, police say she punched him in the face before running out of the store to the van pictured there. Spokane police are looking for the man who robbed a North Spokane Baskin Robbins last night. Officers say a man demanded money at the Baskin Robbins near North Monroe in Indiana about 8 o'clock. Police and canines were unable to find him. That robber is described as black in his 30s, about 5'9", 200 pounds. If you have any information on either one of those crimes, call Crime Check 456-2233. All right, coming up next on Good Morning America, an exclusive sit-down with Jesse Smollett. The actor is now taking on skeptics who doubt his story about a racially motivated attack. And hear from more passengers aboard that terrifying flight with violent turbulence. They are now safe in Seattle. If you're heading out, you're going to find that our arterials, the main road's looking pretty good. But we're going to see some issues when it gets into some of those secondary roadways. 34 for the high today with sun and clouds turning to rain and snow later on this afternoon. All right, uh, this morning, starting at 9 o'clock, the northbound lane over by the Women's and Children's Free Restaurant is going to be blocked by Spokane Traffic Control. We actually have a permit. Um, and we are going to combine to put plates on the side that, of course, Women's and Children's Free Restaurant put plates respectfully in front of women and children and feeds them and gives them, uh, again, pathways to help, and they do a great job. So we'll be there helping out. Big one-day extreme team project. Yep. On North Washington. Hey, GMA starts right now. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the KXLY 4 News app.